Hello and welcome back um, to a new playlist uh, with me, Nutrion, again. We're going to be playing through, um, well, there's not many games that have this kind of sequence at the start of them. A couple do, but not very many. Uh, but this one is... there we go. Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I've kind of turned my channel into an almost uh, Assassin's Creed uh, channel. Uh, but that's just because I have a target to go for and I want to get there as quickly as possible. So that's why, I'm, that's why this is the only content I'm putting out at the minute. Aside from that, I've kind of been looking forward to this game for one reason, which I'll get to in a second. Ah, oh, I love that logo. Of the logos, this one... This one really does it for me. I mean, it's a marrying of everything that's great about the um, Assassin's Creed logo itself, which is great, and the game, and the music in this. I'm I'm a huge fan of Jesper Kid, but Lorn Balfi uh, or Balfa, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. The music in this is just stunning. It really is the the, co the combination of the. Uh, themes from Assassin's Creed and this. You can hear the uh, Native American instruments in the background, but it overlays with American brass, which you can't be. It's it's a sweetness and a fullness to it. It's just awesome. All right. There's a couple of times when I'm going to be doing missions in the Frontier which are going to require that my brightness, you might not see it too much, but I will on my screen, goes from this to this. I'll get to why when I do that. It's, it's not choice, it's the game. Uh, subtitles on, effects volume, music volume. Let's turn you to seven. Oh, voice volume, that'll keep you at ten. Turn you to seven. Uh, controls, third person camera, third person white inverted, thank you. Uh, X look, sensitivity, oh. Canon X axis, X Y, great, perfect. Uh, I heard. Controls, weapons, uh, SSI. Yep, it's fine. Uh, don't want to know the credits. Thankfully, you can skip them in this game, I, th I believe. Right, so let's get going. We've got a single player story to go through. The multiplayer in this is very much the same as uh, it has been since Brotherhood, except it brought the introduction of the Wolf Pack, which is a totally different way of playing the multiplayer. It's uh, competitive team based, but uh, based on score with a definitive target. If you've played Wolfpack, you know what I mean. It's really, really cool. Um, if I'd have had my uh, recording device, I'd have been able to show you that within, uh, I think, one map of Wolfpack, I was able to get all of the achievements pretty much for leveling from uh, right the way through. I hit max level very, very quickly with Wolfpack and hit the absolute maximum trophy that you can get with Wolfpack. It was an awesome, awesome map. I remember that a lot. And we weren't trying, and none of us on the headset said a thing until it was done, and we were all, oh, it, for a pub group, it works really well, and the multiplayer on this works really, really well. Um, but anyway, what I'm gonna do in this, it, it will be a 100% walkthrough. Um, there's no two ways about it. It has to be for me because I've not managed to get a hundred percent That's not choice. That was a glitch So we're gonna start a new game underscore 100 And used to be when people talked about oh, here we go world, we locked them up or laughed them off Sometimes both but we never took them seriously Maybe we should have but I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. 
He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Cesare? Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. Yeah, that's Cesare. We know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Bumpy car ride. Kind of reminds me of Ace Ventura. <laughs> We're here. Let's go. Okay. Walking with the glow stick. Hey, it's graffiti. Oh, they have the pyramid on there as well. Another moment down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again.
kind of fitting. Down the rabbit hole we go. Oh, we can run now. I think we're here. We lost Mr. Glowstick, but it looks like the walls are glowing instead. Funky. Okay, that looks strange. You must find the key. Son? Sir? Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of oh. course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, <laughs> we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. I like to, All right. I like to use the... Um, we'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. I like to use loading times as a gauge on just exactly how responsive uh, the characters are to walking around and running. And this is very, very responsive. Okay, Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. Yeah, the climbing is definitely, definitely more, uh, more smooth. Let's go around. And over we go. Yep, perfect. Rerun your way through this little obstacle course. Oh, yeah. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, 
Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Can you loot them? No. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Easier said than done. didn't quite work as I expected. Stop doing that. Finally. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Okay. Um, that'll do as a as an introduction, um, and I'll stop there. Um, I'll catch you next time where we'll be proceeding with um, with Chappie. Right, so I'll catch you in a second.